Well, today I'm on a one-to-one -one in a Dinorwig quarry. Uh, it's a beautiful day, but not so good for uh, photography. So, uh, while I'm taking my uh, clients around and I'm showing different areas within the quarry, uh, I'll go off now and then and try and do a vlog. But the camera I'm using today, today is the uh, Canon 200D, uh, just because uh, my camera's still getting fixed and uh, should have it back this weekend. So I thought while I'm here, might as well uh, go out and see what kind of images I get with the Canon 200D. So yeah, that should be interesting. Plus I'm using the 24-70 uh, to 70 lens uh, with the camera and that's it. So uh, what I'm going to do now, I've already been up to the top end of the quarry. Um, so I'll uh, show you some images I've had from there uh, earlier on. So yeah, those are the uh, images that I managed to get uh, with the Canon 200D this morning from up top of the quarry. Uh, once again, last time I did the one-to-one -one here, the light was harsh, just blue skies. Uh, it's the same again today, so uh, no big vistas, just sort of focusing, looking at the smaller things once again, uh, possibly black and white, uh, not sure. At the moment I'm down on Anglesey Barracks, uh, so I'm going to try and look for something different down here um, while I'm here and see what we can find. on a workshop today, another one-to-one. -one. Um, so yeah, uh, on the last workshop I managed to have a good look at the images from the uh, last one. Quite impressed really with the uh, image quality. Uh, they were, I found them very sharp. So yeah, quite pleased with this little uh, 200D. 
uh, not only a great vlogging camera but uh, not too bad for stills either so uh, I definitely recommend this camera if for your first camera if you're thinking of getting into photography and definitely for vlogging um, I mean the autofocus on this is probably one of the best it's a dual pixel auto focus so yeah um, so yeah I'm on a one-to-one -one again today got to carry on taking images uh, today I'm using the 16 to 35 lens and yeah see how it goes Just come back for a bit of lunch, uh, then we're going to head back into the uh, quarry. So this vlog's a bit all over the place. Um, I should be getting my 5D back today at some point, uh, probably next week because I'm not home and nobody else is there to collect it. So uh, that'll be back next week. My car should be fixed next week. So uh, back to normal vlogs again. So yeah, the idea with this one is that. Uh, the only camera I had on me was the uh, 200D so I had a couple of uh, workshops this week so I thought I'll go out and take images with the 200D so it's given me a chance really to test the camera out and uh, kind of get a feel for it and see what my thoughts are as a camera uh, like I said before uh, if you're starting photography and you want a first camera I definitely recommend the uh, 200D uh, probably one of Canon's lightest cameras it's very light uh, and uh, pretty cheap as well I think when I bought it a year ago I think it was about 500 pound now then but I'm sure you can get it for about 400 now so it's not a bad price at all uh, it's pretty similar to Canon's M50 the specs are pretty much the same the only thing I like with the 200D is that I'm able to use all my Canon lenses on it so yeah and that's why really that's why I went for it plus the autofocus is uh, superb so yeah so this vlogs really about the uh, Canon 200D and uh, just showing you what sort of image quality you can get from the camera so that's it really um, also uh, in this vlog I've had the chance to fly the drone um, got a couple of shots with that hopefully they're all right so uh, yeah I'll leave you with the shots from the drone and then we'll uh, head back to the quarry and uh, get some more images later on. So uh, I think that's it from uh, Dinawi Quarry. 
with the workshop so yeah just a little vlog really uh, showing you what the images are like on a Canon 200D I've also done all the video footage on the 200D so yeah basically that's it if you want to know more about the tech spec going just look on the YouTube plenty of information about the camera so I recommend it's a great camera to start photography I definitely recommend it and for vlogging perfect it doesn't shoot 4k but 1080 perfect so that's it for this vlog until next week bye